Welcome to the Energy Builders Network. Our website is located at www.energybuilders.net. This video is intended to provide instruction in the assembly of the EBN dry cell. The device pictured is our 6 inch kit, but frankly, the assembly procedure is the same for any of these devices. When you receive your kit, the first thing you're going to want to do is take inventory of your components. Currently, the device is sold in both a 21 plate and 36 plate configuration. If you ordered the 21 plate configuration, you should have 22 gaskets. If you ordered the 36 plate configuration, you should have 37 gaskets. Please check, make sure your plate and gasket count is correct. EBN also provides the device in both a 6 inch and 8 inch form factor. If you got the 6 inch form factor, you should have 12 bolts, 12 PVC bolt sleeves, 12 nuts, and 24 washers. If you bought the 8 inch kit, you should have 16 bolts, 16 PVC sleeves, 16 nuts, and 32 washers. Please count your hardware. Make sure you got everything you're entitled to. Also in the kit should be a pair of pre-drilled, pre-tapped PVC end plates along with screw-in hose barb fittings. The barb fittings are made of brass. The plates are made of 20 gauge 316L grade stainless steel. Your gaskets are made of a 70 durometer 1 16th inch thick neoprene material. The little sleeves that go over your bolts, those are made of PVC. And the various hardware pieces uh, are made of stainless steel. In preparation for assembly, it's very important that the components be cleaned. As they ship to you, they probably have a coating of light machine oil on them. This needs to be removed. Uh, please use a, a light detergent like a dishwashing soap or something of that nature. Uh, might also be a good idea to wear gloves. Even fingerprints on the stainless steel can detract from efficiency. The first step in assembly is to prepare your bolts. To do this, simply slide a washer down the bolt, followed by the PVC sleeve. The PVC sleeve ensures that the bolt won't short out against the plates when the stack is assembled. Once all your bolts are prepared, grab one of your end plates. Now, most of the fellows we know seem to like to have the nuts protrude from the device on the same side as the barb fittings. That's really up to you, but in the picture here what we've done is we've taken the plate that is not tapped for the barb fittings and we're going to use that as the back plate. And you'll notice we've mounted all of our bolts through that plate so that they stand up nice and neat ready to accept components. If you choose to mount it the other way, that's really your business. It's your device. You might want to practice with doing it both ways and see which works best for you. You start stacking the components by using a gasket followed by a stainless steel plate. Now, a little bit of forethought might want to go into how you want to stack your stainless steel plate. You'll notice that one side of the stainless steel plate has a tab on it where you make the electrical connection. Some of our fellows like to alternate them so that the tab alternates one side to the other. That makes it a little easier for them to get their electrical connection mounted. Others prefer to put the active connections on one side and all the neutral plates on the other. Here again, that's really up to you. Practice with it. See which configuration works best for you. One of the things you're going to notice as you're doing your assembly is that um, it's kind of a struggle to get the plates and gaskets to mount over the bolts at first. But once you get a few plates and gaskets in the stack, it starts getting a heck of a lot easier. Try to be patient with it. Don't fight it. Try not to ruin your gaskets. They're expensive. As the stack gets a little taller, you'll find they go on a lot easier. And the stack is finished up the same way we started. The final gasket is applied, followed by the PVC end plate. Once all the components are in the stack, finish it off by applying 
a washer, followed by the nuts. Run your nuts down just finger tight. Now as you go to apply torque to these nuts, it's critical that you understand that it doesn't take a whole lot to seal this device up and you really don't want to over squish those gaskets. We've found that about five pounds per square inch of pressure is appropriate. Uh, any more than that you might damage your gaskets, so go real easy on it. Oh, and as you're tightening the gaskets, use a star pattern, kind of like you were changing a tire on an automobile. Go back and forth, side to side, so it, just exactly like you do the, the a wheel on an automobile to make sure that the torque is applied evenly across the stack. A very light pressure with even distribution is the key to getting it to going together without any leaks and without distorting your gaskets. And once you've got all your nuts and bolts tightened down properly, the last step in the assembly is to install your barb fittings. Please notice in the picture that that one barb fitting in the foreground has that uh, Teflon thread tape on it. It's a real good idea. Either that or perhaps some of the liquid Teflon sealer. In any case, uh, we do suggest you put some sort of a sealant on the threads to make sure you get a good tight seal there. And that's it. The device is assembled. In this side view you can see how the plates have been stacked in, in the example device to where all of the active plates, the ones that will carry an active connection, are on one side. There's plenty of space between those connections, so there's a lot of room to make the connection easily. And of course all the neutral plates are on the opposite side of the device. This seems to be the preferred way to do it, but it's really up to you. Experiment with it. See what works best for you. This picture gives you an example of what it might look like if we reversed our bolts and decided we wanted the barb fittings come out uh, the front of the device, but we wanted the nuts to be on the back. Uh, the device will go together in a number of different ways, so don't be afraid to put some of yourself into it and make it your device. We at EBN hope you enjoyed this presentation, and we very much appreciate your business. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.